Hey guys, this is Joy Cho from Oh Joy. Today, I'm here to address another common business question I often get. I think this is a really common question I get. This happens a lot from kids who are graduating and from college or ready to go out into the real world, or a lot of times I have a lot of friends who are in their 30s who have since become mothers and they've become stay-at-home moms and they are ready to go back into the workforce and they can't figure out exactly what they want to do because maybe what they did before having kids wasn't something they really loved. So I think a lot of the problem is a lot of us love to do so many things. So what is it that you want to do and how do you figure that out? Number one, I think it's helpful to write down a list of what are the things that you like to do. These could be things that you do in your free time. These could be hobbies. These are things that you might have done in your past job. Do an assessment, write down a list of a hundred things that you like to do. It could be as simple as interacting with your friends. It could be as simple as cooking. Really anything you like to do on a daily basis because I think once we put things down on paper, it helps us to assess it and look at it in person and then we can take a look and see how we might be able to combine various things that we like to do and put them into something that could possibly be a new job. And then we need to look at what are we actually good at. I mean, there are so many things that I would love to do. I would love to be a professional chef. I would love to be a stunt double in, a, in action movies. But some of it is based in reality and some of it isn't. So we need to start combining the things that we like to do plus the things that we're really good at. So this is another way to self-assess yourself. What are you actually really good at? And then let's start looking at those two lists side by side and see where those things overlap. Next, figure out a way to test out the things that you think you might be interested in pursuing as a job. This might be in the form of an internship, an apprenticeship, or being someone's assistant. I know that when I was in college, I I, um, I majored in graphic design and I thought I wanted to work for either a record label or for a magazine. So one summer before I graduated college, I went to New York and I spent two days a week at a record label and I spent three days a week at a magazine. And I got to be an intern, a graphic design intern for both of those things. And you know what I realized? I realized I didn't want to work for either of those two companies. I found the process of being in a magazine and the time period and the way that they worked, it just wasn't the type of style that I wanted to work in. And in terms of the record label, there were certain things about that too that weren't my ideal style. And so it wasn't a bad thing. It wasn't that I didn't enjoy it. I actually had a really great time. I met so many people and I learned a lot. But I realized instead, after that summer, that I wanted to do graphic design for a smaller design studio. I wanted to be able to work with a variety of different clients and not have it be specific to one uh, genre. And so after that, after school, that's exactly what I did. Now, again, you might learn from certain jobs what you don't want to do or what you do want to do. And so for me personally, after doing some work at a boutique graphic design agency, I realized I really want to design products and I really want to design things that people could use. And so that's how I evolved my career over time and my business as well. And so by testing out these things, it helps you realize what you want to do, what you don't want to do, and any time that you have a chance to test it out in a smaller format um, by helping somebody out who's been doing it longer, you'll get a taste of what's to come. Now, if it comes to starting a business, maybe it's a product line, test it out on the side. There's, you know, I always recommend to start something as a hobby. Let's say you want to make clothes or you want to design invitations or you want to do calligraphy. Start something as a hobby in addition to your regular job or in addition to whatever you already do because it's very hard to make that leap into um, starting a business from scratch when you're not 100% sure about it, when you're not exactly sure what it's going to involve. And I think it's better to be so overwhelmed with your side business and become so successful then maybe you can quit your other job or maybe this can turn into a full-time thing and it's something that you've been doing on the side, on nights, on weekends and really building it up and then it becomes something that can be a full-time job rather than trying to pursue it right away until you know that it's really going to click. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you have other business questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and please subscribe to the Ojoy YouTube channel.